Hey guys, welcome back to Cycle Fab. I'm Larry. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question for you guys out there, the viewers and me. And that is, can you powder coat JB Weld? Uh, I've always wondered about this. I have not done it. And I'm just going to do it for myself. I know there are videos out there that say they're using JB Weld and they powder coat over it. I have not watched, uh, I've watched one, but uh, they didn't show any details of, you know, actually powder coating over the JB Weld. Anyway, uh, what I have here are six aluminum plates. They're a quarter inch thick by one and a half by one and a quarter. Now, on each one of these plates is a machined mark. In other words, just a stripe that's, uh, well, one of them's an eighth inch uh, thick and the other one, I forget what it is. Anyway, like. 7 sixteenths, whatever. And what I'm going for is depth and width of this material to see what we can and can get away with if we can get away with anything. Uh, in other words, if you get a material too thick, then it's still going to release chemicals once heated up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we have to do to this in order to get the powder coat to stick and to go through its routine of curing and doing what it needs to do. So let's just go ahead and get on with that. Um, here's a close up of these things. And now this is the high heat JB Weld over here on the right. Uh, this is the original JB Weld in the center. And just because I use this stuff and I had some laying around, I wanted to give you guys another demonstration of it is the lab metal. Now this is the regular lab metal. This is not the high heat lab metal, uh, which really doesn't make any difference. This can handle this heat just fine, which by the way, um, JB Weld can go up to 550 degrees on the original. And I, I'll look and list it somewhere over here. I think it can go up to 550 degrees with the high heat, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I'm not sure there are some differences between these two, not just from the color, but also the way it feels and just its, you know, makeup. So uh, let's go ahead and get on with this. Let me get these ground down and I want to hit them with a 3M Scotch-Brite uh, rough disc sander, heavy disc. And then we're going to powder coat it and get back over here and show you the finished product. So let's get going with that. By the way, thanks for watching. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and hit that notification bell too so you know when my next videos are coming out. Now, let's get on with this. Okay guys, I just wanna show you before I powder coat these, what they look like. This is after I ground them off or polished them off. This is the high heat JB Weld. This is the standard original JB Weld, which finished out the smoothest, by the way, with no uh, pockets in it, no air pockets. The high heat JB Weld, yes, it does have some pinholes in it. Now, the lab metal is horrible, but lab metal is not meant to be used in this type of application. I'll do another video over this on lab metal and how I use it here in the shop. But anyway, just a comparison before we powder coat. Now let's get on with the actual powder coating. Well, they seem to be powder coating just fine, actually, all of them. Uh, flip them over to the other side. Hey, say, hey, check this out right here. This is my mixing tube for the Harbor Freight. And this is the diffuser kit. Now, I make these items here in this shop and it really improves the function of this gun. So, check it out in the description area down below. And uh, you will be satisfied with them, trust me. Well, we definitely got our test in with definitive results. Uh, just right off the bat, can you powder coat over JB Weld? Uh, yes and no. Does it look good? No. Uh, can you powder coat over it? Yeah. Yeah, you can. But the way this experiment went, 
is, you know, like I showed you, it's just a machine slot that's in there to simulate, say like a scratch or a ding or a gouge, uh, like in a frame. Now, neither one of these products did well cosmetically uh, for this application right here. However, on a mating weld, uh, it probably would, like on a motorcycle frame where tube comes into the other uh, at a radius or whatever it may be, angle. And, uh, you know, cover that up a little bit. But doing it like this, uh, covering up a gouge, at least gouges that are this deep, no, it, it works okay. The one that worked the best was the regular original JB Weld, even the consistency of it. Uh, I did not really get hardly any air bubbles in it. The one or three that I got, actually, uh, are pinhole size. Um, now, the high temp or high heat JB Weld, no, that stuff was horrible to work with. It was like working with kind of dried putty and there's no solvent really to loosen it up. Uh, none that I researched anyway. Now, as far as the lab metal goes, lab metal I have used before with success, but like I said, it was more so for covering up a weld or making a weld look smooth where you have transition from one tube into another tube in a weld but that's really the only times that I have used it. This type of application, even though I did mix this to a very pliable, liquidy consistency, this still did not do well at all, at all. But anyway, I will keep doing more tests with these products, uh, lab metal specifically. So I appreciate you guys showing up every week or whenever I have a video. I know I haven't been making as many as I used to because, well, I'm just more busy. But if you'd like to check out the diffusers that I make, uh, please, right down there below in the description area, hit on those links and it will take you to my eBay store. And you can check those out. It does help those guns a lot. But as far as this right here, uh, being able to powder coat over JB Weld, no, uh, not, not for any decent cosmetic purposes. Uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, that's my opinion. Now, I want to go back and watch other YouTube channels that you know have done this experiment before. Uh, I don't know if they had any success or not, but I'll give it a go. Hey, guys. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching my channel. I will continue with more of this and some other ideas that I have for videos later on a uh, week, week or two. So see you guys then. Y'all have a fantastic day now. Bye.